Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon, and today we're going to talk about, we're continuing our series with two-handed whip work and, uh, and growing our two-handed skills. Today we're going to talk about different types of crackers and why one type of cracker might be a more advantageous than another type when you're first learning to do two-handed work. So first I'm, I'm going to come up real close and hopefully you can see this. A traditional side, a style popper or cracker is just a twisted strand finished with an overhand knot. And hopefully you can see that overhand knot. And then on the other side of that knot is just fluff. And as this is played with, it'll get fluffier. But literally you're having to play with about two inches of fluff. And if you, if you do make contact with the knot, the knot has a good chance of leaving a dot or a streak or a mark, okay? So there's very little forgiveness in a traditional style popper. Uh, you're playing with about an inch and a half or two inches of fluff. So what I play with normally in the dungeon is what I call a Lady Sally style cracker because it was designed by Lady Sally. But it's essentially mason line that's deconstructed and then plaited into a flat three-strand ponytail and it's finished with a flat knot and the flat knot has less chance of leaving a mark and you're still left with about two inches of fluff or an inch and a half of fluff so you're you're still playing with just the fluff but the knot has less of a chance of leaving a mark okay and that's what I normally play with when I'm doing single hand work. However, when you're doing first learning two hand work uh, and you're working on your manual dexterity and your muscle memory, uh, you're going to want even a larger safety margin. And I recommend you start with using what I call a tassel style cracker. To, to make, create a tassel style cracker, you take a eight or nine millimeter split ring and you affix it to the tip of your fall. Hopefully you can see that. And then you just simply take two strands of mason line and slip it through the slip ring so that it forms a ring knot or uh, I'm gonna call that a ring knot. And then the result is a large tassel style piece of fluff that, of course, gives you a larger safety margin when you're throwing. And it's also harder to actually make the whip crack or pop, but it's easier to make it do what I call a controlled puff. Puff, puff, puff. So when you're first learning two-handed work, I'm going to recommend we start with a tassel style cracker until we develop our skills and then we can migrate uh, to a more Lady Sally style cracker. But for two hand work, I'm not actually going to recommend we use the traditional style cracker with the, the twisted cracker with the overhand knot. So let's start with a tassel style cracker. I have a separate video on how to make a tassel style cracker. There's also a separate video on making uh, a ponytail style cracker or a, I, what I call a Lady Sally style cracker. As always, thanks for watching Whips in the Dungeon.